Yo, what's up everybody? Mr. AG is here bringing you Pokemon X and Y Battle, and this time it's up against Kimmy, otherwise known as Kim Plays Pokemon. Oh my goodness, I've been wanting to upload this battle for a while, but I just haven't had time. So Kimmy's bringing in this, um, yeah, Obama Snow, has got the Halucha, has got the Nitto Kings, got the Azumarill, has got the Greninja, and Talonflame. Now, yes, this is not a mistake. I've got Rattata leading off. Starting with, also got my Talon Flame, got my, got my Gyarados, got my Porygon too, I've got my Gudra and Sylveon. So how does this battle turn out? One way to find out. Let's get straight in there. Music provided by Glitch City. Yeah, buddy. Let's do this. Here we go now. Wow, that was timed perfectly. Kimmy is issuing a challenge. Sends out Wave, the Talon Flame. I'm going to send out Fear Me, the Rattata. Rattata is going to come in. Here comes the Brave Bird on my Rattata. No! It's going to take me down to 1 HP. It takes me down to my Focus Sash. Now, he's going to get Recoil. And I actually ran, um, yeah, I ran Endeavor, which is going to take Wade down to 1 HP. So, wow. Wade's going to use Protect just to see what I'm going to do. I actually ran Quick Attack. It's not going to work. He's going to go ahead and use Roost. So, Roost on the um, Town Flame. Not exactly what I wanted to see. Kind of ruins my plan here. Everybody knows about this little thing that people do. Run Quick Attack. It's not going to do much at all against Wade. Now, we don't want to lose my Rattata, so we're going to switch it out. We're going to go into Porygon 2, who's going to be able to eat up an attack. We'll be good to go. Porygon 2 comes in. Traces Galway. It's not that it's going to matter. And here comes Brave Bird. Brave Bird on my Porygon too is going to hurt, but I'm going to be able to take it. Bam. All right. He's going to get some recoil damage. Not enough to take him out, but recoil is recoil. He's going to go ahead and use Roost. So, uh, yeah. I say he. Uh, yeah, Wade's a he. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Kim plays Pokemon, or Kimmy. Kim's um, Talonflame is doing a great job of survival here. Here comes the Flare Blitz, though. Flare Bits. Flare Bits. Flare Blitz is going to cause recoil damage to Wade as well. We're going to go ahead and take that damage. He's going to get some more damage, and I'm going to use Recover. So immediately we've got a back and forth recovery battle here with Roost and all this going on. Wade's going to use Roost, so more Roosting. More Roosting. <laughs> uh, Wade's going to go up to above half health. We're going to run Thunderbolt on Wade, hoping for a crit or something to take it out. Not a crit, but it takes him down to a quarter health. Here comes the Protect by the Town Flame. So, very interesting Town Flame set. Don't usually see one with Protect. Um, Wade's going to use Roost again. So, trying to keep that Town Flame alive. And I'm starting to realize this. I'm going to run Thunderbolt again. An insane amount of times we just sit there and trade Thunderbolts, Roost, and Recovers back and forth. Here comes the Flare Blitz. Now that I am at a good position and she's at a much better position, she can run that Flare Blitz, does some damage, does some recoil, and here comes the Tri-Attack. I figured I'd try something different. Tri-Attack's gonna hit Wade, get that Stab Attack, and finally, finally Wade goes down. It must have been because it was a Stab Attack, finally. Zeo comes out next, finally. It's a Greninja. Greninja in the house, gets that Dark Pulse off. Gonna get the Protein, so it's gonna change to a Dark type. And it's gonna do a decent chunk of damage on me. I'm gonna recover, though. So Porygon 2 being an absolute wall here right now. Oh, wall, wall, wall. Here comes the Ice Beam, changing to the Ice type. So doing some uh, changes here, it's going to um, it's going to cause me to think smart. And it freezes me. So freeze me solid. Porygon 2 is frozen solid. So now I don't really want to sit there and let him set up with anything. So we're going to go ahead and switch out now and send in Gudra. Kudra coming in, ready to take the Scald. Changing to that water type is this Grit Ninja. Scald is going to do a small chunk of damage. Takes me down to 180. It does burn my Gudra though, so that's extremely unfortunate, but it is what it is. Hurt by the burn. Here comes an Ice Beam. Changing to that Ice type. But didn't want that to happen. Ice is going to be super effective, plus the fact that like Greninja is just awesome. We actually predicted that, so we ran Flamethrower next, and Flamethrower is going to be nearly enough to take out Ezio. Ezio, though, however, however, happens to have lefties, so he's going to be harder to kill than I was hoping. So, here comes an Ice Beam. 
Ice Beam's gonna take out my Gudra, unfortunately for me. But it is what it is. Down goes my Gudra. Goodbye, Gudra! No! So easy, I was gonna take a little bit of lefties, go up to the still on the edge of red. We're gonna send out Fear Me, the Rattata. There's no way there's gonna be a Rattata kill. Is there? Quick attack. Is it gonna be enough? Is it gonna be enough? It is enough. We take out the Grand Ninja. Who would have thought Grand Ninja being taken out by Rattata? El Taco comes in that How Lucha. How Lucha comes in. Fear Me is kinda done. We're gonna go ahead and switch out. Just in case I need him for Death Fire. We're gonna send out Porygon 2 again, who's already frozen. And hope that um, I get un, um, unfrozen here. <laughs> here come the home claws from the unburdened Halucha. By the way, um, the flying press attack by Halucha is gonna hurt. If you're frozen, you have a 20% chance of waking up. This 20% chance did not happen. <laughs> so I go down. Acrobats hits my Porygon 2. My wall is gone. My physical wall is gone. A uh, good rule of thumb if you're trying to make a team is one physical wall, one special wall, and then everything else. At least two physicals and two specials attacking pokes. Though that's just general, general um, team building. All right, we're going to go ahead and run Sword Stance. That's going to go ahead and raise our attack sharply. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and switch out. Why? because I don't think I'm going to be able to do much damage. We're going to switch out to Fear Me. The Rattata. Here comes the Rock Slide. I avoid the attack. Sucker Punch is going to, unfortunately, they'll take out Fear Me, my Rattata. It's it's a heartbreaking moment. It is moment of silence for Fear Me. All right, I'm over it. Here comes Gyarados. Gyarados comes out, ready to do some work. We're going to go ahead and Mega Evolve right now while we have this chance, because I don't want to sit there and get quad um, damage against possibly a thunder attack. So here we go. Get that mold breaker going. Um, the king's going to use poison jab on me. I'm going to be able to take it, thankfully. And we're going to go ahead and get this DD um, dragon dance. It's going to boost my speed and attack. And now we're going to be good to go. Good to go. Get this waterfall attack going. And boom! Goodbye, the king. The king is done. He's gone. And yeah, sitting pretty, sitting pretty. So Azumarill's gonna come out next from Kimmy. Kim plays Pokemon. And most Azumarill's run with a set featuring, um, what do you call it, Belly Drum, and then Aqua Jet or Super Power, Fairy Attack, Play Rough, I mean. Yeah, so here goes a Play Rough. I'm not gonna eat that. Up. I'm gonna just die. I'm just gonna roll over to a Play Rough. So, next coming out is my Town Flame. Now my Town Flame is in a good position to do some work. Brave Bird on this Azumarill. And Azumarill is not going to enjoy this Brave Bird. Br 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 brave Bird, Azumarill's done. Goodbye, Azumarill. It was fun, it was fun, it was fun. So, not very many pokes left here for Kimmy. She's going to go ahead and send out Yeti. There's the Yeti. Grass Ice type. Get that Snow Warning going. So, yeah. Not very good. We're going to go ahead and watch as a bomb site takes place here to Mega Evolve. Bam! Mega Evolved Yeti. We're going to go ahead and run Brave Bird on it, though, because Brave Bird is going to be super powerful against the Yeti, the Obama Snow, even if it's a Mega Obama Snow. Bam! Super effective. The Yeti is gone. The Yeti is gone. So, we're going to get massive recoil damage, but now we've only got one poke to deal with. There's the hell question is, can I take out El Taco? El Taco, the Halucha, the fighting flying type. We're going to go ahead and run Brave Bird because, fortunately for us, El Taco is a little friend out and El Taco is weak to flying, I believe. Yep, super effective. El Taco goes down and that's going to be the battle here with Kim Plays Pokemon. A great, fantastic battle, guys. Let me know what you think about it in the comments section. What about that Rattata kill? Um, let me know, guys. All right. Until next time, remember the road may be rough, but the journey will be unforgettable. Be sure to check out Kimmy. Yeah, buddy, she's awesome. And until next time, catch them all. Later, guys.